Greetings YouTube, this is Electro Tark and uh, I'm here again with another you know, uh, half-assed project. Um, this is my bedside lamp. Uh, as you can see it has two buttons, one for power, the other for the timer. And it has a little dial here, a, a linear potentiometer with a chunk of plastic stuck to it. Um, to modify its brightness. Now I just hooked up an LED here for uh, for the sake of uh, display here. I haven't built the actual LED lamp yet so um, there's no point but uh, I am gonna show what this thing does. Now hang on, let's pull this piece of crap out. Now see it here. <sighs> Let it focus. Anyways, I'm using a PIC 16F684 for the control. Obviously it's not using all of its I.O. pins. Uh, there's five volts coming in. There is uh, there's a little LED on there and that's why I have the clear cover uh, so that you can see the LED kind of light up the case a little bit in the dark and that way you can find it at night and you can see it's blinking there uh... there's a tip 102 right here on the uh, right on the output to the lamp uh... that way it can handle uh, more current than say 20 milliamps um, so the transistor turns on and off it is controlled by pulse width modulation uh... and obviously this goes to the analog digital converter so uh... and another thing is too this lamp Let's just turn it on, let's, and let's turn this on full. This lamp starts off dim and goes bright when you turn the power on. Now, this button here, if I press it, say, I'll press it once, that's five minutes. Press it twice, ten minutes, three times, thirty minutes, and four times, sixty minutes. Now I can always turn it off uh, just simply by pressing this button and as you can see it's going to start getting dim dim, 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 off and uh, it's obvious that uh, you know uh, that uh, this would be pretty ideal for reading too and that's why I built it so if you have a lamp, and I, I made it so that it, it doesn't actually turn on full blast immediately, and it doesn't turn off full blast, just for the just for the convenience of not having it startle you awake when you're uh, when you're when you're reading or when you're falling asleep reading, and uh, also so if in let's say in the morning you want to get up and you go oh I got to get up and I just need to put my shoes on or something like that you just need to see so just press the button once turns this on and, uh, and then you have five minutes and then you don't have to worry about turning it off because it'll turn itself off um, pretty simple design <clears throat> nothing spectacular a little blinking light so you can see where the lamp it itself is it never goes to full never goes full off unless you turn the power off but if you turn the the uh, uh, the potentiometer all the way down, it doesn't actually go all the way down. Just so that you always know whether the light is actually on or off. So, uh, as you can see here on the back, let's let it focus. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There we go. You can see that I used uh, one of those, uh, these are a Measure Explorer board. And uh, they have the traces that go in all directions. And I'll tell you something: this is a, this is a tremendous pain in the ass to build. Um, also, when you had something that didn't connect, or that uh, you know there was supposed to be no continuity between two points, it was hard to track down. So you had to sit there and scribe and scribe and scribe and scribe. So it's a lot di more difficult to debug in terms of uh, uh, in electrically speaking. Um, and but it works, and uh, it could be prettier. I mean, this thing just goes beside my bed. I'm not looking to 
win any design awards for this. Uh, this, is, this is just a piece of junk to put beside my bed. Um, I put it all back in the case there. Uh, interestingly enough, I think something like this would be actually ideal in almost every lamp that you have, you know. Um, if you used uh, incandescent light bulbs, you could uh, use a diac triac combo and uh, manually uh, configure with a with a with a DAC, you could uh, configure it to turn on and off with a relay and the DAC, so or with the uh, DIAC triac, so it's like a, a digitally controlled um, dimmer switch. So, anyways, um, yeah, it just runs off of a wall wart, one and a half amps, and the tip 102 is there to give it some more oomph. That has a better current carrying capacity to the temporary, well, to the lamp. I gotta maybe drill this out and put some LEDs in it, and you know, who knows? I have no idea. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making a video soon about uh, <coughs> about building a CNC. So I'm gonna build the boards first, and uh, I'm gonna post a few videos on how I start out how I intend to design it and then later on I'm going to film how I designed it, how I soldered it and a bit of a, a bit of a show of how I programmed it and uh, it'll be a fully functioning CNC device so we'll see and uh, anyways YouTube and or whoever watches this video have a pleasant new year and uh, 